Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today we have the final ProClip installation. Now this is a 2003 Toyota Corolla. They make this clip for just about every vehicle. Um, and this one is made to go on the console or center console here. Clips here to here. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you how that installs. The first thing you want to do, and I'm not going to do that just for this demonstration, but um, here is an, an alcohol wipe and that takes any oil off and that's for the double-sided tape that they provide you here to allow it to stick uh, permanently where you want it without sliding around. Now where this goes is you want to first position this by either sitting here or having someone sit here and position it where you want it because depending on where you want this to sit it may interfere with your uh, passenger's leg and uh, might be uncomfortable. So let's first show you how this goes. You're going to adjust this. Now you want to tighten the screw a little bit to give you a little bit of um, tension on it because it, once you get it to the place you want it, you want it kind of to stick. Then you're going to squeeze them together and tighten with the provided wrench. So let's do that. And, uh, and see how that slides around a little. That's only really because I haven't used the tape on here. So you can see that's installed pretty easy. It's pretty firm in there. It will slide slightly, like I said, because it does not have the tape on it. Uh, but over, overall, not an issue uh, once that tape's so securely fastened. Then you have the little cap, and this is going to go right here to finish the job and make it look nice. And like I said, they have this for a ton of different cars, so definitely uh, check that out. We're going we're gonna to switch and show you uh, how, how you use this and, and finally install it. Okay, we're back, and this is fully installed, the Pro Clips here. Um, I don't have the connection to it yet, but let me show you this. First of all, I have an iPod connector, just to show you. I'm going to uh, route this eventually underneath, through the side, so you don't see it, but just for purposes of the video, I wanted to show you. This actually clips into the bottom here. Let me see if I can show you that. There's actually a connector right here, as you saw in the previous videos. That clips in just like that, and then you route that to... Uh, your stereo, if you don't have this type of USB connector, you use whatever iPod dock connector they have. It will work with any iPod connector, as it's pretty standard, 24 pin, I believe. Um, and it's fully tilt adjustable, you can see. And you can adjust the width, as I've shown you before, but there's some, there's little uh, thumb wheels or thumb screws in the back where you can widen this or narrow this, depending on the case. In this case, I have a transparent co-zip case on it that I've been using. Uh, I did a review on fairly recently and uh, thought we'd try this out. Now they do make this connector a little bit higher than normal to accommodate the depth of the case, which is great, well thought out. And here it sits in, and that's it. You can use this, this is in a Toyota Corolla, but you can use this in whatever you want. Uh, I have a Pro Clip in my other car, it's actually a Saab, has a perfect, uh, it's an 03 Saab 9.3 and uh, it has a perfect fit for that too. This It's not the same kit as the one that's installed here. Uh, it is an older model, but it accommodates it well, fits perfectly right in the same spot. Uh, now, like I mentioned before, because we have the seat right here, and this is a little bit uh, smaller car, uh, you want to make sure that whoever's sitting here, their legs don't hit this. So if you have it up here, it's too high. The other thing to keep in mind is when you turn your car on, you bring the shifter down, uh, whether it be stick shift, that won't matter as much, but if it's a stick shift or a or a manual or automatic, when you bring this down to drive, um, it can obscure this. So you really want to find that perfect spot for yourself. I originally had played around with this a little bit up here, didn't like it as much, and um, ended up moving it down here where I showed you where we just installed it. So that's what you want to do. You want to have this installed run nice through your, your console or, or wherever uh, your plug-in for the iPod comes from. And that's pretty much it. Then you can fully control from here. You know, you can either control it here, control it through your stereo, depending on which stereo you have um, is going to make a difference. So definitely check these guys out. ProClip. It's ProClip USA. They are a little bit expensive, but the quality is top-notch. Uh, like I said, I have one in another car I've used for about a year, and that's where I heard of these. Uh, it came in the car when I bought it, actually. The, it was previously owned, and I'd never heard of ProClip, even though I have 
you know, have tried a hundred accessories for iPhone. Uh, by far the best clip I've seen in a car because they accommodate you to put it here. You can put it up by your vents. Uh, they have a lot of different solutions. In the clips themselves, the mount that they go on is about $35. It's this part that's a little more pricey. But uh, I think over time you're going to find that this is by far the best solution, at least that I've used. I haven't come across anything else that's, that's better, in my opinion. So uh, definitely check them out, ProClip USA. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.